Hi guys, this is The Anarchist. Like, subscribe, check out my other videos. I've recently uploaded a deck profile of this deck, which um, is Ritual Swarm. Um, please check it out. If you have any of the cards I'm looking for, check out my binders as well. Um, yeah, you can't see my hand in this duel because I don't have a capture software and stuff because I want to find a free one that's like legit and uh, I haven't found one yet that I feel okay with using but uh, if you have any of those if you know of one comment please and um, I want it I want it free because I don't particularly want to pay for it and stuff because it's only going to be a bit of fun and uh, yeah also this is Ritual Swarm versus uh, Shadow Swarm uh, so it's like a, a meta deck versus my one and uh, I'm just going to show you that I have absolutely no fear when I'm playing this because Shadows are supposed to be the next big thing they're not also if anybody knows how to increase the frames per second on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro uh, for the dual replays please like tell me because this is going to be slow for some reason my computer won't do anything more than 19 frames per second on the replays but uh, yeah anyway let's get started with it I'm going to explain what I'm doing as I'm going along and telling you what I'm doing. I went first, I won the thing. I've summoned a Lila. Uh, I opened with two Dijin Demolisher of Rituals and one Dijin Releaser of Rituals and a Hymn of Light. Uh, so that's already pretty good. I've just milled a Manju and. what else? Oh, a Judgment Dragon and a um, Solar Recharge. And uh, yeah, he's played the Charge of Light Brigade. He's set a card which is a facing the shadows summons a rider and mills two mills another two gets his shadow effect and stuff and he's going plus he's getting all his shadow cards for his hand I have absolutely no I didn't actually know who was playing uh, shadows until uh, he milled that sort of thing but uh, I thought it was just going to be another lights one mirror match because I just laugh at those but um because they don't play defensive back row and that's the main problem with this is if you have if they somebody plays a dark hole but that's fading out for some reason in the meta dark hole mode. and I just top decked a Sapphira this is where we laugh because uh, I instantly go Hymn of Light uh, to Jin Demolisher and to Jin Releaser which I had both in my hand and get rid of the Hymn of Light uh, it goes off the field so I've already got protection if they had Solemn Warning I could have banished that and protected it and I just attack in and if you can see it can't be spec you uh, your opponent cannot special summon and this can't be targeted oh by the way it, you can special summon all you want your opponent can't special summon it is like that one sided I think uh, yep your opponent cannot special summon I'm just gonna realize, oh he summoned a lizard and set a super poly and an MST <laughs> but uh, yep I so I don't play traps in this deck MST is pretty pointless for me um, yeah, all this guy could do at this point, because he can't special summon, so he can't fusion summon, he can't XYZ, he can't get rid of her, unless he was, the only thing that possibly would annoy would be like the quill offs and stuff, but in that case, honest, that's all I have to say, <laughs> because this, this spams on it, if I can just summon a lights one here, I will be constantly getting her effect as well, because you're gonna mill a light monster to the grave and if you don't you've just got another Dijin in the grave and who cares it's another Dijin you can just summon another couple of them but this is why I have no fear this as soon as I got her out in the field the guide lost but he just didn't know it yet he's dealt 200 life point damage to me because he attacked my Lila and um, he's just trying to get his pluses and he is plussing he's getting his shadow fusions he's getting his um everything else that he needs. Hopefully you can see the life points. He's he's got six seven. Let me just check that up. Yeah, he's got six thousand seven hundred at the moment, but he's got a lot less now. Because <laughs> he's just been attacked. But um at this as soon as I get him out on the field, like everybody loses. Unless you've got a dark hole or something like that, you've lost with this against this deck. Or a mirror force. And even then, if I've got him of light in the grave, I do I don't care. This is why it's so good with the Lights 1 decks. It's fast. It was a lot faster when I was actually playing the duel because it's at much faster frames per second. I don't know why it's so slow. But um, this is just so fun 
because yes he can attack over my Dijin and stuff he dealt me another 200 life points I think that's the last bit of damage he dealt to me so that's Shadow Light's Wand a pretty meta deck dealt 400 life this deck is like underrated I think because people I really 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 want to pick this up because Godsworn is like amazing fun but if I go against like um I think I have a dual video I may upload of uh, Heroes, which they just like banished every. They just uh, locked down my graveyard, which is as bad as Necro Valley, really. <laughs> uh, so they were banishing everything, and um, I couldn't do anything in Godsworn. Godsworn is highly aggressive, and until the hero support comes out, that is probably my favourite deck at the moment because it's so fast. Every turn, you're just spamming boss monsters. He sets an effect raider, that's how desperate I don't know why I didn't set the uh, Raiden though. Because it the it would have been like slightly more of a move, because it had slightly more defence. But he uh can only now annoy my light he doesn't he can't kill them, he just annoys my light swans. You very rarely use your extra deck in this, by the way. But um I'm literally just laughing here because he can't do anything. And, yes, I should have attacked with the, uh, I didn't know what he had, so I attacked with my highest attack monster first. I probably should have attacked with the Lilac, because not many of the Shadows have a high enough defense for that. But, um, yeah, this deck just doesn't lose out. Uh, Yang Zing, or Ying Zang, or whatever they're called, they can't special summon because of the Jins. See, he just quits there. That is how good this deck. It just it just laughs. It it doesn't it doesn't make everything panic because there is a couple of problems. Like if you don't draw your spell card and your ritual, you you're gonna be waiting out for that. But as long as you got the light swarms, you can still go light swarm, Michael, any other any other synchros and stuff with your Raiden and Lumina. That's still a very good play, and you can still go Judgment Dragon. So. It's not linear as in you've only got this ritual. I like to wait for the ritual because that's just I find it so fun to just lock my opponent out. All of these control decks trying to control by going, I've got my boojins and I'm gonna control you with a uh, stop you summoning more than one monster because I've only got one. I just say you can't summon because every time you normal summon you can't tribute beyond that and stuff and I'm just gonna attack into you which just is yeah and I don't play any back row so MST and any form of like spell or trap things are just wasted really because it's just so fun because of it I love this deck and I still want to build it check uh, check out my um, what do you call it yeah deck profile uh, if you have any other cards please check out my binders 